Well, hey guys, welcome back to another video, but uh, this one's going to be a little different. Uh, I went out and bought myself another project. Uh, you know, when I was a teenager, I had a car just like this one. Well, when I was a teenager, the one I had ran, but this is going to be a true project. You know, I may have already shown you that I did go out and buy me a Mustang the other day, a 66 Coupe. But, uh, you know, Fastback is what I really wanted. And I'd been searching on Facebook Marketplace, and I came across this one back here in Utah. This is a 65 fastback it's an a code car which means it has a um, a four barrel it's a 225 horse uh, engine 289 that came from the factory uh, this particular one has a four speed transmission that came with it um, but it's going to be a real project and the good news is the fact that i uh, did a uh, already done a lot of sheet metal on a 66 coupe recently and so I've kind of cut my teeth on that and so uh, I'm not too scared of this one I found the car pretty much just like you see it as is only it was a lot dirtier I've been cleaning it up but uh, this is going to be a project uh, work for you know quite some time uh, but uh, let me walk around show you the car and then talk about uh, some of these other things that I plan to do with it uh, well, I'll show you. I, I've got a lot of parts here. There were a lot of new parts. Uh, the previous owner only had a short while. I think he flipped it pretty quickly to me. He had bought it from someone or a fella, I think, in a grandson or a son who had the car for, you know, several years, 15, 20 years. And so there were a lot of parts, uh, old and brand new parts purchased and passed those along to me. But anyway, so and then I've bought some parts myself because I'm going to do some sheet metal work. So Carrie just delivered all my Dynacorn parts or a good piece of them. We've got uh, the two the left and right hand quarter panels here for the fastback. And then we've got a new firewall. And uh, there's a few other parts inside the box. And then here's the big granddaddy of them all. This is the uh, complete floor assembly we've got here. In the front end, I've just got a temporary radiator uh, support here, and I'm, you know, I've got a, a brand new Dynacorn uh, radiator support that I'm going to put here. Uh, I've got it in the box, and then uh, as far as the sheet metal work I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go ahead and replace the firewall. Uh, we've got a lot of rust through right there. Uh, in addition to the firewall, you can see I've got these two apron pieces uh, for here and. Uh, on the driver's side and you know basically you can see that one owner in the past has gouged out a big hole in the side of that uh, apron there and I'm assuming to get access to uh, the steering box that goes there uh, but anyway I can patch up the frame rail there There's a little, very little problem there I've got some 16 gauge steel that I can put back in there but I'm going to replace that entire piece there and there and then um, one of the things too is you know i've got the the vin numbers are on these particular pieces of the apron so i'm gonna end up cutting these out and maintaining those numbers and put them on the new pieces uh, and this video will serve as some documentation just to uh, keep the provenance uh, the continuity of uh, the fact that it's a valid uh, vin number that particular piece uh, I'll maintain. It has the number of VIN number as well. And um, so, you know, I've got that as well. And then the door tag, I've got that. So uh, no problem maintaining the, the history of the car. This is a clean title car. It's in my name now. And so always, you know, concerned about buying an old car and, and having a, a salvage title or, or no title. So, uh, the other reason, other than just the rust repair problems uh, on the front of the firewall, the firewall runs all the way down to here and you can see that it's already been gouged out by the previous owner and especially over here on the driver's side. So 
rather than trying to put multiple patches in here and here and then replace these floor pans I bought a complete uh, assembly basically a new firewall and then a complete floor pan assembly from here all the way back through the trunk and so as well as I bought uh, you know I've got brand new uh, wheel houses on both sides the outsides are pretty boogered up these inside pieces are not that bad but I went ahead and bought complete uh, wheel houses for it and then uh, new quarter panels you can see that this one's been attempted to be repaired uh, and it's just a, a hodgepodge of sheet metal pieces that have been patched together and so I'm going to be replacing the entire um, quarter panels on both sides from this lead joint here all the way down and all the way back so I've got those pieces already in the box um, the floor the trunk here you know it's rusted out pretty bad down in here and so again this will be completely new from there forward completely new from here forward new drop downs in the trunk new quarter panels new wheel houses okay all this metal is in good shape here i've got a new tail light um, panel here to replace this piece it's it looks straight but i think it's got some pretty thick bondo all the way across so this bad boy is getting swapped out came with a nine inch rear end that can't be the original rear end i don't think uh, but I've got a 9-inch here that I'm going to end up having to rebuild. Uh, there's the 4-speed transmission that came with the car. Um, this particular engine is a date-matching engine for a 65 uh, 289. Uh, it doesn't have the 4-barrel intake, but I have the 4-barrel intake and the carburetor for the car. So this is a numbers matching as far as a 65-style car goes. So the motor, I'll, I'll go through that. Um, and again, I may put this four-speed transmission back in it. I really want to go with a T5, a, a five-speed, uh, to give me some overdrive capability. So that, um, a lot of the parts came with it. These are 1968 uh, Mustang seats based on these tags. I'm going to probably sell these and uh, I'll go find me um, a set of 60, 66, 65 vintage seats that I can reupholster for the car. Um, I've got the, the rear seat, all of the fold down pieces uh, up here. And so I've got uh, all the bones to uh, reupholster the back seat and, and all of the uh, fiberglass pieces for this uh, fastback. So I don't need to go out and buy a bunch of internal parts in order to finish out the interior. Um, again, a lot of new parts up here. Uh, those are the, uh, the vent pieces up there. Um, I've got some bumpers. I'm not sure how good a condition they are. This is the trunk lid. Um, I've got the grill up there and uh, the lower balance, front balance up there. And then a lot of the parts up here are new in these boxes. So, just want to introduce you to the car. I haven't given it a name yet. I'm sure I'll come up with something uh, unique. And uh, so the first thing I want to do, I just want to, again, introduce you to the car. Um, and then uh, we'll start a full restoration of this thing. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is getting it all uh, leveled out, uh, getting it on jack stands and getting it prepped so that I can disassemble so that I can take some good dimensions and, um, um, and document that so that when I start taking that firewall out and these apron pieces, when this thing naturally wants to sag and fall, I've got true dimensions that I can uh, get it back to where it needs to be as far as factory dimensions. This is going to be a great project. It's going to take me a long time to get through it. I'm really excited about it. My brother and I built a, uh, mostly my brother built, but a, uh, we built a rotisserie for the car, and I've got that out in stored in my trailer outside. Really looking forward to getting this thing restored and, and really just enjoy the process. And then when it's all said and done, just enjoy driving it. You know, I just got several things I want to do with this car, and, and it's not going to, I don't know that I'd call it a resto mod. 
I'll do a little bit of extra work in the engine, but you know, one of the things I want to do, give a shout out, Alf's Mustang Garage here, here in Utah. These guys, uh, uh, they've got some great videos out there. I just want to give them a shout out. I've done a, uh, I've watched a lot of their work and it's given me a lot of good uh, direction, a lot of good how to's. Um, so anyway, I want to give a shout out to Alf's Mustang Garage in uh, Ogden, Utah. The majority of my content has been in motorcycles, motorcycle camping, uh, motorcycle touring, uh, but this is something I'm going to be doing and interleaving in between uh, motorcycle rides, and I hope this is something you enjoy. If it is, let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you like the content. Uh, tell me what you think about uh, doing a Mustang uh, car restoration and creating a playlist of uh, you know my Mustang uh, restoration journey. Hope you enjoy it. Please tell me if you do. Uh, tell me if you don't. Guys, please be on the lookout for a couple of different playlists here as I go through the restoration of my 66 Coupe as well as this 65 Fastback. Hope these are things that you're interested in. Let me know in the comments. If it's not, you think I need to split this off into a separate uh, YouTube channel, I appreciate your input. Uh, really don't want to dilute uh, those that are chasing uh, content related to Harleys and motorcycle riding and the, and the culture there. But uh, again, I appreciate your input. Please let me know. And when me and Roxy get out on the road to take a ride, uh, camp, or uh, when we get into the garage for a little therapy, hope you guys will come along and go with us.